So we do have some of the land of the Kingdom of, Eng of Wales. I don't want to create the Kingdom of Wales yet, because it would just get grabbed out of our control, but we will later. It'll be integral for making the Kingdom of, uh, or sorry, the Empire of uh, Britannia. I've got an A-E in my name, but almost no one gets a right, but if you pronounce it, like, like the A sound in the Mick part of McDonald's. Uh, is close enough to never be wrong. I don't know if I even got it right there. I have no idea. Alright, uh, time between mental breaks and eh, no when death is a year away. Neither of these are gonna come in handy right now. We don't have mental breaks right now and we're probably not about to keel over. I guess I'll take know thyself just in case. On our last character, we took it at the perfect moment. Because right after we took it, it warned us. Because ideally, you'd be getting that perk. You know, you don't want it super ahead of time when you could have something else ahead of time that would pay off in the meantime. You know what I mean? When are you going to play more 7 Days uh, with Brandon? Soon, I hope. I don't know. It's just... The answer to when are you going to do more of this will always be the same thing. When I have time. Which, I don't know when. Also, thank you for letting me know that the medic died. I didn't notice that. Um, we will... We will get a new one. Do we have any good candidates within the country right now? If I find a character in my realm... Uh, just based on learning... We have a miracle worker here, which is a type of mystic, but... They're not always the best medics. Okay, this one's our, our most learned renowned physician right now. I'm sorry, can I not give her the job? I cannot. Do not know why. Because she's a vassal? I think it's because she's a vassal. Whatever, we'll be um, recruiting a new physician through just the menu before we know it anyway. Mm, do I want to wait on these crop fields? I think I might. Oh, we have a death. Our brother, Mr. Freeze, just died. Prince Mr. Freeze drank himself to death, gained a little bit of stress. All right. Well, let's get rid of that stress right away by calling a hunt. It's only 133 bucks. He was also our spy master. Let's replace him with her. She doesn't like us very much, but she is a powerful vassal. She'll like us a lot more once I assign her. It's only a plus four. I don't know if I want to keep her on that forever. Okay, that alliance wasn't that important. Medic position search is open. I'm not sure what you mean. It's still not stressful enough to forget the coin you got earlier. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, more heresies. Is that Waldenness Saiyans? Whatever that is. It's that thing again. Uh, those vile heretics uh, are being led astray. I want nothing to do with them. The last thing I need right now is a lack of religious unity. Rampaging Heart. Just as my vassal Duke Adred and I crest a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustling of branches, birds screaming in fright. They are heralds announcing its arrival. A massive heart heading straight for us. Okay, there's a 4% chance here that I die. I have died to that 4%. I have had this event fucking once in CK3. I had off stream on my own personal save file playing in Spain. And I fucking died with, I think, a 6%. Or he can get a weak hook on me. I'd rather he just get a weak hook. He's my steward. And a vassal. And a knight. And a treacherous villain. But he also really likes us, so maybe he won't fuck us. He's doing it. I'm not taking the fucking risk. It's a faction against me. One member. It's only one. It's two. Two members. They want the Kingdom of England. It's this lady wanting to be installed on the throne. 
Isn't she my spy master? That's my spy master is starting a plot, a faction to have her installed on the throne. I'm firing her. Fuck her. I'm gonna hire this guy who's actually better and impartial. In fact, can I gift him? This dirt sheep. Oh, I'm greedy. I'd get stressed. Don't do that. There we go. Yeah, fuck her. She's not staying my spy master. She'll betray me. Hunt's over. There we go. Your glory is widely known. Look at that. We're now illustrious. Getting more knights again. Good. We'll need that for the army. More people in this horrible border gore mess are converting to weird heresies. Keep watch on our wife's affliction. What? She has an affliction? I didn't even know. Oh, she's got gout. She's gout ridden. She's probably gonna die. <laughs> Shit. Even if you don't create wheel, uh, whales, couldn't it uh, be created automatically when you die and given to someone else? Uh, not as far as I'm aware, but that could be a new thing in this game. Culture has discovered the thing I wanted! Yes! We got our tech! We can finally go to limited crown authority. So this whole game, we'd be in autonomous vassals. It's fucking balls. They provide a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of tax, but otherwise do whatever they want. Limited crown authority. We can revoke titles, although we need a claim for it. Vassals can be retracted. Uh, we get more... Um, taxes, which is very important. And we can have slightly better secession laws. I will do it immediately. Pass that law. Never let it go back down. Okay, what tech do we need? We need royal prerogative to get to the next level of crown authority. That's in the next tech group, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Let's take a real quick look here and see what we want to focus on next. So, we've got most of the techs here, actually. We've got 10 of the 19. We can't start working on the next ones yet. We need more of these, so... Pass that law! Alright. Uh, we already have the green ones. Casas Belli? De jure County Casas Belli claims. Not really that interested. Public Works is... Counties now reach the maximum existing uh, development penalty at 20 development. What is the penalty at right now? Let's just click on the... Probably London has our highest development. Not Kingston, London. London, thank you. Uh, its development is at 10... Uh, it is not growing at all. Monthly growth is zero. Which probably means 10 is the soft cap right now. Or maybe a hard cap. If I do a development map... I don't think anything's above 10. Okay. This is important then because development is also your science. I think we want public works... Thank you for writing, helping me write a new book. I wasn't to where I was. Um, ever since I was in seventh grade, I uh, thought of a novel, but I never had the time to write it. Now that I've had plenty of time, I've been listening to you while I write. Awesome. I'm happy that's helpful. Yeah, we should look into our secession laws. I agree. At max penalty, the development action for your steward is 0 0.4. And that's what it's referring to. Counties now reach the maximum existing development penalty at 20 development. That does not have to do with the steward. Uh, the steward increased development development county? Yes, it does not use the words increase development in county, which is what it's calling this ability. It does not use that here. It is simply talking about the maximum existing development penalty. To increase in uh, development in county... Steward tasks suffer from diminishing returns. The more development in the county already has, the more development growth is penalized by default. Uh, Cortez reached the maximum existing penalty at 10. 10 is the default. That answers the question. Yes. So the limit is 10. We are raising it above 10 with public works. We are reaching 10 consistently, which means that is definitely the next priority. Got it. 
Oh, yes, we need to look into inheritance, right. Secession. Okay, all ch children inherit equally. Can we change that to something more appealing? I'm a big fan of the single realm heirs. I think everybody is, but we need high crown authority. And we don't have the tech for that until the next stage. Okay, so we're at confederate uh, partition. All children inherit equally. We can also do... Sorry, what is the difference? Is also all children inherit equally. Pass partition. Your titles will be divided equally amongst your children. All titles help the ruler divided amongst the eligible children. With the player heir always being given the primary title, Capital Realm, any direct de jure titles associated with it. Your children may be given some titles starting with those of the same rank of the primary title. If none are available, they'll be given lower ranking titles. What is different about that to my current one? Younger children will have titles created for them if enough title uh, is land, uh, held. Oh, okay, this will have new ones not be created. That seems to be the only difference is we won't create new titles just to hand them out to kids. Okay, I will move away from this then. You have one or more powerful vassals with a negative opinion on you. Oh, we right, I forgot about that rule. That was from the previous one. Okay, we do want to change that. And just out of interest, what is this last one? The player uh, heir will always inherit at least half of the late ruler's titles. So this is just a better version. But we need heraldry innovation for that. And for this, we need hereditary rule. No. The culture does not have hereditary rule. Is that why we can't do it? Okay, okay. So we still can't change it. We need hereditary rule or heraldry to change it to something better. Good to know. Neither of those are in this tech group. Fuck. Nope. Okay, we can't make it any better until we get to the next stage. Got it. Okay, well, the current thing we're focusing on will help with science in the long run, so I guess that's what matters. We need development, and we're at our development cap. Faction created against you, Liberty Faction. Another one? Shit. I don't like this. We got a few factions. None of them are that. That's... Okay, actually, this populist one is a little strong, but we've got alliances. We're okay. Impeccable household. Nice. Physician. Oh, one of our sons came of age. Good. Can we do anything about the Norse culture belt in the north of England? I don't know if we want to yet, because it won't help us with our science. God, neither of these are real physicians. Oh no, this one actually is a passable physician, despite not being that special third option. Okay, we'll hire 60 bucks. That's not too bad. We have a decent physician. And we're almost done some of those crop fields. Or crop fields. Thoughtful perk can be an easy way to get rid of factions. Gift the strongest person in the faction. Yeah. That makes sense. Just remembered, you mentioned the immortality trait a while back, but they removed that for CK number symbol. I'm guessing you mean three. I was unaware they removed that. Uh, I will work on control in... Do I personally own any of these areas that are out of control? Oh, this one. The only one left that I have with not full control is Oxford. Oxford isn't doing well. Okay, we're trying to regain control in there. Oh, crop fields finishing. Hell yeah. That got our income up a bunch. Cost 225 to start upgrading it again. Okay. It's a bump up to Hamlets, which is a solid little upgrade. It'll take a while to pay for itself. It's in the game code, but there's no way to get it in-game. Got it.
What happened to your last physician? I believe she just died of old age. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold on to money again for a little bit now that these factions are getting strong. Let it build up a little. I beckon my archbishop to join me in the circle of brass orbs and the candles arranged on staves throughout the dark room. The intense cloying of the air to ward off the bad vapors makes our eyes tear up a little. I do not know what that means. The incense! Okay. Uh, this is how, through the corner of our eyes, we will spot the inscrutable form of angels. Every day's pause. This feels wrong. Ah, there's another one of those... Um, yeah, my intentions are pure, I, ass I assure you. Easy, easy life learning experience. 96% chance of success because it's a learning challenge, and that's our good stat. Boom. Love that. Are you going to take Sussex? Eventually. But right now, it's held by a very powerful person. Oh, our counselor died. It was our marshal. Okay, um, this dude's actually pretty good, and he's a powerful vassal, and now he likes us, so that's not bad. Neighbor lost a war? Some of the Welsh lost a war to one of my vassals! Hell yeah, we got more land. Let me, um, I gotta turn off Flux. I forgot in the winter I have to turn off Flux during these streams. There we go. Swaying is going well. He actually quite likes us now, so let's stop swaying him. Who still doesn't like us? She's on the verge again, and we gotta keep friendly with her. She hates our fucking guts. And we're not about to go making her like us pretty quick, so... Sway her again. We're still working on domestic affairs, right? Yeah, we just need a better chancellor. But he's our best one. Ooh. Neck has been sore all day. Check in. Gotta go back and watch on the start, but wanted to reach out. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope you have a fun time going back and watching that shit. What's Philippe up to nowadays? Now that he's 28. Oh, his wife's in prison. He is unlanded and he lives in... The barony of Lil. The callous, shy, lustful, thrifty clerk. Did the assassination attempt of your son resolve or is it ongoing? We never figured out what was going on with that. We never found out who was doing it. But I don't think he ever died. We did have a son drink himself to death recently. But I think that was unrelated. Yeah, he fucked off back to France, Philippe, after he lost Kent and Wessex, I think. Invite Philip to the court? Can I? Would he? I don't think he'd agree. It's not even close. He's someone else's player heir, too, so he won't. What is this? Oh, great. You've pissed off this guy. He still likes us, though. You tried Crusader Kings 2 but got confused by it? It's a confusing game. Crusader Kings 3 is a lot less confusing. They do a better job of the tooltips and really, like, giving you opportunities to learn the game. Search for physician. Additional tax. Hell yeah, there goes all of our stress. I love that. What are the rules of your Twitch streams? Uh, none, really. Just you follow TOS. Uh, don't do ASCII art of dicks. There you go. There's a rule I just came up with. Um, let's military camp. I want to start getting a few little military things here and there. A couple military camps and hunting grounds. There we go. We get a little money out of that. Those are some cheap, easy buildings to get to get a little more levy size. <laughs> 